Hey y'all, um, happy Monday. I uh, just literally got in from the East Coast. Um, just got in from my Lyft drive. Um, flight was good. I do what I usually do. I sleep the whole time, so I don't really eat, drink, and I usually get up once to use the restroom out of a six hour flight. So, um, easy peasy. So today's video is going to be about the pillow, the travel pillow. Um, I have two of these. Uh, this is the one that I usually do because I'm always in black, um, so I usually like to match. My other one's navy blue, so it's not too far off. Um, so yeah, we're gonna talk about the travel pillow. Get ready. So when I got back into Philly this time around, I was like, Dad, I totally get the travel pillow now. The key to the travel pillow is to connect the bottom once you put it around your neck. My dad, however, was like, no, you don't always have to do that because mine doesn't have a snap at the bottom. And I was like, what? And then I started looking around and noticing everybody's travel pillow and not all of them have a snap at the bottom. Crazy, right? Okay. Okay, so the key to a successful travel pillow is this. Step one, place around your neck like so. Step two, if you do have a snap or tie or whatever it offers, do it. And step three, this goes across the board. Whether you have a uh, snap or a zipper or a tie, relax. And step four, and I suggest investing in one, that way it's dark and you can't really see anyone or anything and no lights coming through so you can really get the sleep that you need. So there you have it folks, the success of your travel pillow, all meshed into four easy steps.